Hi my loves, it's Belinda Celine and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys a get ready with me video on this gorgeous makeup look along with how I like to straighten my hair using the new Lumabella hair straightener which I recently started using and I am obsessed. Like seriously if you have frizzy hair or hard to manage hair, you need this tool in your life. Let's start with the makeup. I'm going to start by using a concealer and this one is from Tarte. It is a shape and tape concealer. I'm just going to add it to the bottom of my eyes along with the bridge of my nose and then use a beauty blender to blend it all in. I recently changed my skincare routine so I feel like I don't need liquid foundation all the time so I'm using this powder foundation and this one is from Benefit Cosmetics. It is a Hello Flawless Foundation favorite ever. I feel like it's full coverage and it does a really good job of keeping your face hydrated because I feel like some powders can be really really drying. I like to add a little bit of bronzer to my face, especially when I am getting a little bit more pale throughout the season. So I'm just going to put this in a three shape around my face and this is going to give it a little bit more dimension. That way when you contour, it looks a little bit more natural and it doesn't just look like you have lines on your face. I've seen it before, it looks really bad. So you want to add a little warmth to your skin tone prior to that. And then I'm also going to contour my nose as well. Moving on to brows, this pencil right here is from Revlon. It has a spoolie at the end, which makes the process so much easier. I just go ahead and I outline it so I know like the shape that I want, and then I'll fill it in and then use the spoolie at the end to like blend it all together. Brows are my go-to. Like if I walk out of the house without makeup, it's fine, but my brows have to be on. What is like the one thing you cannot leave the house without? Like is a mascara, a lip gloss or something? Let me know. To clean them up, I'm gonna use the concealer that I was using before and just with an angled brush, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the edges. And just in case you haven't tweezed in a while or you need your eyebrows done, this does a really good job of like hiding all those little hairs that are out of place. And let's move on to our eye look. I wanted something that was glam, but also that was a little bit natural at the same time. So I'm gonna dig into this box from ColourPop and these are all their new items. Their eyeshadows in this set are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to begin by applying the shade Desert on my eyelid and then I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Jenner original eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna add that to the crease of my eye and slowly build up the color. Next I'm gonna grab this orange shade which I really like it on its own but I did want it on the eyelid that way when I applied this next color on my eye it stands out. It is in the shade Thirsty Girl and I was actually saying that in the video to remind myself what it was called because I forget sometimes. Next I'm gonna go ahead and grab a darker color and I'm going to really define my crease. It's really going to separate and amplify like that gold shimmer color that I have on top and it's so pretty. I'm also going to add that to my waterline on the bottom, not necessarily my waterline but my lash line on the bottom to really like make my eyes pop. Another drugstore find that's been my favorite lately is this from L'Oreal and it is the felt tip eyeliner which is amazing. I feel like it's really really easy to use. So if you're a beginner with a winged liner, I highly recommend this one. And now let's put on some lashes. I got this from Sephora and it came in a cute little kit. Highly recommended because the House of Lashes glue has been sold out everywhere. I cannot find it online but if you go and get this kit, it comes with like the black eyelash glue as well as the clear one and the black one is just amazing. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced Cosmetics on the lower lash line and then on the top to blend them together. And for my blush, I wanted to grab something that was a little bit more red with the warmer tones. And then for my highlight, this one is from Jouer. It's gorgeous. You just need a tiny little bit and it gives you an amazing glow. And I really liked it and I wanted to put it on my Cupid's bow as well as the inner corner of my eye and it just like put everything together. I did a combination of two different lipsticks for my lips. The first is ColourPop's Wild Nothing. It's my favorite shade so far because I've seen it everywhere. And then in the center of my lips, I put on Jouer's Penny, just right in the center to make it like really pop. All right, so now let's move on to our hair. I'm going to be using the Lumabella Cool Mist Hair Straightener. And once I tried it, I am completely impressed and highly recommended. Here's why. It lets out a cool mist as you're straightening your hair. So it's going to protect it. And it's also going to give you a conditioning treatment, which after trying it out, my hair felt softer, shinier. And overall, it was just less frizzy and so much easier to manage. And it actually stayed straight longer. So what you do is you take off the cap on the back and you are just going to add 
the macadamia treatment that it comes with. You could use this or you could just use distilled water if you don't want to uh, continue to purchase these, but I highly recommend it. I barely used any on the first time that I tried, so it's going to last you for a long time. Once you're done pouring it all in, you're going to pop it back into the straightener and then turn on your hair straightener and put the temperature that you want. It ranges from 300 Fahrenheit to 450. I put it up to 400 because my hair is hard to straighten. You could use it without the mist or with it, but to activate it, you're just going to hold the button for two seconds and then it'll start coming up. So I'm just going to suction off my hair. I'm going to put it down. My hair is a hot mess. And let me tell you, it's really hard for me to straighten it since I do have frizzy thick hair. So I'm just going to section it off in at different parts and I'm going to turn on the cool mist on. And as you can tell on your hair straightener, one side has a ceramic plates towards the edge and on the other side is where the cool mist will dispense and it'll only be activated as you're closing the hair straightener. So prior to you applying the heat on there, it's going to activate that cool mist and it's going to give you the conditioning treatment. It's very soft and my hair felt so soft and shiny after using it. And as you can tell, it doesn't take much effort because of the temperature that I put it on and also because the cool mist is helping it hydrate and that way it's not gonna get caught. With other hair straighteners, I always use a heat tamer and I felt like I needed to use it because otherwise it would be so dry and the hair straightener would just get caught onto my hair and pull it out. But with this one, I had no problem and it saved me time because I was able to do it a lot faster. Another cool feature about this hair straightener is that it will automatically shut off after 60 minutes of using it. That way, if you leave the house, you don't have to worry about it being unplugged or leaving it on. Honestly, I was very impressed with the hair straightener, especially the cool mist that it distributes to your hair as you're straightening it. It left my hair shinier, frizz-free, and also really soft because of the macadamia oil that it has in it. So highly recommend it. I will have a link down below in the description box for you guys if you guys are interested. And also there is a promo code Celine20 for $20 off the straightener which will be available for the next two weeks. So hurry and get your very own. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend it. I've never straightened my hair that fast ever before. Okay, so that is all for our hair and now let's move on to our outfit. I wanted something that I felt really comfortable in. These boots are from Nordstrom. I'll have a link down below for them as well as for this dress, which is a one size. And I really liked it because I know it can get so uncomfortable after you eat a lot and you have something really tight on. So I wanted something that I can loosen up and just be kind of big, but also be really cute and not be too exposed either. So it gives you a little bit of both. You show a little bit of skin, but you're very comfortable and it just fits so well. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you guys liked it as well. And I'll talk to you guys next time, which is this. Mwah.